Well, we're out and about again, strolling around town, about to check out what's going on with our cousins, Sarah and Alan, as they try to meet us up for some lunch. It was awfully nice walking around with Sarah and Alan. They showed us Trafalgar Square. It was awesome. It was a huge gathering of street performers and artists. You could easily stay here for a couple hours just to see what all the fuss is about. We found you. You're <laughs> caught. As we were walking around, watching how good Alan is with Ezra, he seems like a natural. It's only a matter of time before he becomes a dad himself. I could see it. Ezra. Ding, 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 ding. English look. Coat and a scarf. He's standing straighter. <laughs> this is what it'd be like if we were English. I don't think we'd live right here if we lived in England. I wouldn't want to live out here. <laughs> it's just a really busy street. I think we'd live not in London, we'd live it's more really in the country. You enjoying this trip so far? Yeah, it's alright. It's a lot different vacation being pregnant and having a one year old. There's a mattress in the middle of the road. Yeah. Watch out for the mattress. The next day we had a big outing to go to. We were going to meet Haim at the train station and take a train over to see Windsor Castle. That's right, THE Windsor Castle. The famed weekend home of the Queen herself. And also the spot where the royal wedding was recently. The castle itself was like something out of Game of Thrones. Cue the music. 
No, I'm just kidding. All in all, this castle was freaking amazing. I've never been to a real life castle before. But the fact that George Clooney was here makes me ecstatic. Well, it was time to go home. I know Ezra was happy to go. Happy to go home? One more pit stop before we go, though. Traditional English breakfast. We definitely had a lot of fun and spent some quality family time. But this dad shift is definitely over. Till next time. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in on the three london episodes had a blast stay tuned for what's coming up ahead and as always that shift chronicles out <laughs>